Hello, my Lunderman shop friends. Thank you for joining me today. We're going to take a little diversion from what we normally do on this channel. Today, I'm going to show you the simple steps for installing the Mustang Wide Vintage Touring Seat on my V-Star 950. Coming right up. First thing we'll need to do is remove the stock seat, the, the pad here, and also the passenger. And for that, you're going to need your ignition key, and you'll also need a 10 millimeter ratchet with a little extension on it to get to your to your back seat. Okay, so ignition key goes right in there. I've had this bike for over a year, and I had no idea that this this is how you got the seat off. So the ignition key goes there. Turn it. And we're going to pull up a little bit in the front, just like that. And there you go. That's how you get your seat off. That's how you get to your battery. And that's how you get to your toolkit, which is right in there. I'll go put this to the side. All right, now under here is where you're going to use your ratchet wrench with your 10 millimeters. Two, there's two bolts on this top seat on. So I want to walk around the other side of the bike and loosen them up and take it off. Hold on to these, you're going to need them. Okay. And here's the old passenger seat. Just disrupted a happy little spider uh, living in here. All right. All right, the passenger seat goes on first, and I wanted to show you a side by side comparison of the new Mustang versus the stock seat. I think any passenger is going to be very pleased with the wider, uh, just more substantial uh, passenger seat there. All right, so we have to put this one on first as per the directions. Oh yeah, before you, uh, before you put your seat on, go ahead and give this a little wipe down. You know, it's probably a great time to give it a nice cleaning back here. I didn't do that. I'm anxious to get my seat on, so I gave it a little wipe off and then uh, Let's go ahead and put on this back piece. that little push. All right, it is a little tight. I want to put the bolts in, see if that helps me. All right, so I got it on. It's nice and uh, strong now. I ended up having to get out because it was taking quite some time. I had to turn off the video so you could see what I was doing, but let me, uh, let me show you what I did here. I had to get out uh, my, my screwdriver driver with a socket on the end. And then I was able to screw in that way rather than using the ratchet wrench right away. It might help if you have two people. Mine was a little, you know, it was a little uh, difficult getting in there. So uh, may maybe yours will go in a little bit smoother. But once I got the screws lined up and it was able to get them in there that was fine it pulled it back into that little clamp that's on the back side of the seat okay let's get on to the solo uh, driver seat here all right so here is the uh, the Mustang saddle and a side-by-side -side comparison to the uh, original seat here all right so obviously this one here is contoured a little bit more to to uh, <laughs> to the shape of my backside, I guess we can say. All right, let's go ahead and put this one on. Take this paper off here. And with this one, we're going to slide it in. Again, the backside right here 
going to clip right under here and then your front is going to go down in there. So we're going to go back side first, back and then down. Make sure everything's lined up. Pull it back and then push down until you hear a click. All right, I'm not going to lie, that was a little tough to get in there, it was very stiff. Um, so you got to pull it back and then I ended up pressing, bringing it up a little bit and then literally punching it down in there because it's really tight. Um, and then it popped up once, then I had to do it again and I did it even harder this time and now it's on there pretty good. So there's our seat so far. far. Now let's put on the driver backrest. <laughs> let's hope that goes a little bit. Uh, smoother. Here we go. Here's the backrest. Pretty nice, huh? A nice chrome piece. Now there are no instructions on how this goes in at all, so I'm assuming it's just simple as is uh, pushing it down into the open slot there. And you can see there's some notches on the back there, and I, I guess that there's a catch on the inside of the seat that you can kind of adjust it wherever you want. Actually, before we turn the camera to the seat, I wanted to show you that this, uh, you see that there, this nut right here, or this bolt, is what uh, adjusts your lean angle. So if you want to adjust it up a little bit further for your back support, then you would screw that in. Or if you want your back support to go back a little bit more, more in a reclined fashion, you would unscrew that. Now this bolt, as I just discovered, um, will kind of protrude into the passenger seat behind. So, so I'm hoping to have mine up away from the passenger seat so that the, the seat doesn't get buffed by, by this here. Um, all right, so let me show you how that goes. And essentially you just wanna slide it down into the slot that's on the top of the, uh, sorry, top of the driver uh, seat there. I'll show that to you. So is this opening here Right there is a little flap. When you're not using the backrest, you cover it up. Open it up when you want to put the backrest in. And then this just slides in and you just kind of fish around for the slot on the inside of the seat that it needs to go into. And then slide it right on down. And then you can adjust your height according to those little notches that are in the stem of the seat, or the seat back that is. All right, and then again, you can adjust your lean angle of the seat Right about there. I'm not sure where I want it yet. I have not positioned myself on my brand new seat with the seat rest on it yet. But there it is. What do you guys think of that? Pretty nice seat, huh? I cannot wait to test it out and go on a ride with this one. I'm going to be completely honest here. I don't know why the motorcycle manufacturers haven't caught on, caught on to the fact that their seats are just not that comfortable. Um, I envy other riders who have been riding on the stock seat for years now and have 50,000 miles on their motorcycle. I think that's fantastic. The seat that came with this bike looked great and it felt good for about the first 15, 20 minutes. But after that, and my small stature here, um, I, I needed some more padding. And I think the back support with the rake of these, these bikes here, my, my feet are so far forward if you're going stop sign to stop sign, for me, my legs were burning, my upper thighs were burning uh, from putting my feet down, picking them up, putting them down, picking them up, back onto the floorboards. So I'm hoping this backrest will help uh, alleviate a little bit of that uh, aching and pain for me. Because again, we're all getting older, right? All right, well, thanks for tuning in. Let me know what you think. Uh, of Are you gonna get the uh, Mustang? I'm thinking that even if you got a cooler bin or an ultimate seat, that the installation process 
on your 950 would be very similar and probably very similar on other bikes, whether it's a Shadow, um, a, a Harley, or a, um, one of the Suzuki's. Probably a similar process for installing this Mustang seat. I can't speak for all of them, but this Mustang seat and probably some of the other brands too. All right, thanks again for tuning in the Lenderman Shop. Safe riding. Stick around for more uh, yard-oriented videos coming up a little bit later in the summer. All right, take care, guys. Yo, Chris Bay.